Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to hop on and talk about why I'm thinking about selling this Michael Kors Vivian bag. But before I get started, I do want to say thank you to those of you who have subscribed. And if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. I put out a lot of videos about contemporary center handbags like Coach Michael Kors, Fossil Longchamp, as well as some light gems like Gucci, Burberry, and Goyard. And if you end up liking this video, please do give me a thumbs up down below. So this is the Michael Kors Vivian bag. I purchased it in December of 2018 at the Michael Kors outlet for $141.57. Obviously you can tell it's a very beautiful and unique looking bag, um, but it is the most expensive bag in my collection. You can see that beautiful kind of rose detail on the front. It does have a chain strap. It has kind of a uh, flip up, uh, kind of turn lock style closure. The back has beautiful quilting in kind of a design that reminds you of curtains at a theater. It has a back snap pocket. Um, so that's kind of a, just a quick overview of the bag. So I have tried to sell this bag uh, once before. Uh, I got good offers because it is such a unique and beautiful bag, but I ended up um, not being able to complete that sale because of kind of technicalities. So I just kind of gave up on selling it for now, but it is something that I think would be possible if I tried to do so. So um, I'm gonna just go over some of the reasons that I'm thinking about keeping this bag and then some of the reasons I'm thinking about selling this bag just to give you my thoughts on it. And then I'll conclude with I think what I've decided to do, but I would love to know your opinions in the comments below to see if you think that I should do something other than what I'm thinking about. So. Uh, the number one reason that I want to keep this bag is because I think it is a very unique style. Like I said, the roses on the front are really beautiful. They really remind me of the Chanel uh, Camellia quilting on some of their Camellia pieces. Um, and I don't think I would be able to kind of recreate that look or like refine this kind of bag if I did end up selling it and wanting it back. The other thing that I really like about it um, and that I think is really unique about this bag, I mean, as well as all Michael Kors bags that have a chain strap, is the chain is really unique. It has those little flat bits on it. And for those of you who've seen any of my videos on this bag, you know that I always talk about this. I think those little flat bits, you know, like you can see that one right there, they're really pretty. They catch the light in a really nice way. So it does kind of sparkle, which I think is really unique. So if I tried to get a similar kind of flap style bag from like Coach or something like that, I don't think I would be able to recreate that effect. Um, and also, you know, just in terms of my collection, this is my only chain strap bag with that kind of, you know, Chanel or Gucci Marmont style chain that, that adjusts like this, that has the chain as well, the little, little leather bits. Um, so in terms of my collection, I do feel like it does kind of fit a space in my collection that no other bag does fit. Um, and I do think, you know, it could be useful in the future as a special occasions bag. Um, it is, you know, that beautiful kind of soft, gorgeous leather, and then the hardware is gold, and I tend to wear uh, gold jewelry. So I do think this would be kind of um, a bag that would be great for special occasions in the future. Uh, one thing I really do like about it is that I really can kind of fit all of my SLGs and all of my stuff in there without having to change out to a smaller wallet or really downsize at all. So that's what the interior looks like. It has uh, one compartment back there, one compartment back there, and then a uh, zipped compartment here. Very useful design. And to give you a sense of what it fits, I just tossed my SLGs in there and you can see my SLGs basically you know, only take up like three quarters of the bag or one half of the bag's capacity and I could slip in, uh, you know, some chapstick or things in the center pocket here as well as like a hand sanitizer can slip there. So I really don't need to downsize to be able to fit into this bag, which I think is really nice um, for special occasions or even just using this bag, um, you know, as a fancier like going out to dinner bag or going to the mall bag, things like that. And this could potentially be particularly useful once my husband and I have kids. Um, you know, especially if we're going to like a family wedding or something like that where I need to carry not only my stuff but also maybe like a snack or a toy or something that's like relatively small but also still takes up space. I think this could be useful in those situations uh, when I am a parent. Another reason I really like this bag and I think it's kind of unique and I want to keep it is because of the strap itself. 
So unlike many chain strap bags, um, this chain strap bag has little leather bits on it to make it more comfortable and easier to wear. And not only that, but it has two leather bits. So if you're wearing this bag as a shoulder bag, like a long shoulder bag like this, uh, the leather bits are both covering your shoulders. So you don't have like one leather bit that's comfortable and then one bit of chain that's like digging into your shoulder or anything like that. I really like that style. I don't think even the Gucci Marmont has that. I think the Gucci Marmont only has one little leather bit. So I think that's relatively unique. And I think it's a really good design feature that I don't think I would be able to find in similarly designed bags uh, if I did end up wanting to buy this style again. Um, but I am, you know, there are reasons that I'm considering selling this bag. First and foremost, because it is the most expensive bag in my collection at $141. Um, and honestly, I rarely use it, especially not this year. I think, like I said, it's good for the mall. It's good for special occasions. It's good for maybe a night out for dinner. But um, to me, the leather feels like soft and delicate, so maybe it's just like a mental thing where I'm afraid to use it for errands and things like that. Um, so I don't necessarily feel super comfortable using it on an everyday basis. And actually, when I picked it up to film this video, there was like a relatively thick layer of dust up here that I did have to kind of wipe off. Um, so that tells you how little I have used it in the past like year or so. Um, and the other thing is that like, I do enjoy this like quilted style, I think it's very beautiful, but I did just get another quilted bag, which is this Coach Star Jess quilted crossbody. Um, so in terms of like the quilted bag category in my collection, I do prefer the star quilting to the floral quilting, and I do feel like they're kind of both similar that they both feel like they have a really soft, delicate leather. I wouldn't use them that much. So it does kind of feel like um, in that kind of category, my collection of quilted, relatively delicate bags, I prefer this bag over this bag, so maybe um, it's worth selling. And in the future, if I do want a, um, you know, a more special occasion bag, perhaps I could use this as a special occasion bag. I've taken this drop off right now just because it's like hard to film with it on, um, but I could maybe buy like a gunmetal um, chain strap to go with this to make it more of a slightly nicer looking bag, but I still think it would look really casual compared to this, so maybe that's not great, um, but I could, you know, end up finding a different style to, uh, to use for special occasions. And then there's this like open question in my mind of thinking about does the Vivian really even work uh, as a special occasion bag? Uh, like a formal bag, you know, it is relatively large, like I just showed you, which is a pro because it can hold a lot, but it also makes it a little bit less elegant, I feel like. You know, it's not a nice little dainty wallet on a chain. It does um, kind of look large against my body. Um, and if I wanted a kind of smaller, more delicate bag, maybe I could get like a wallet on a chain style, sell this, and then if I needed like a bigger bag for any reason to carry my kids stuff or something like that, like I could just bring a diaper bag or some other kind of, um, you know, casual bag uh, for that very kind of limited use case. And I will say too that I think the hardware on this is really beautiful. Like I said, the chain is very beautiful. The gold is very yellow, so it is kind of flashy in my opinion. And um, in terms of like my holiday party at my office and stuff, I work at a place where people are not flashy at all. So even though this is not like a designer bag in any sense, it's, I mean, it is a designer bag, but it's not like a luxury bag. I do think still it would kind of stand out in that way. Um, so I'm not sure if I would totally feel comfortable using this at like my holiday party and stuff like that, although I still do think I would use it for weddings and things like that. So ultimately, I think the decision that I've come to as I've kind of thought about this and thought about whether I want to sell it and whether I'm going to use it is I'm just going to wait. I think this year, um, as you might have guessed, is kind of an extraordinary year for us, um, you know, even like going out to restaurants and going to the mall and things that we usually do, we just don't have the option of doing right now. So I, it doesn't seem like it makes sense to sell a bag that I would primarily use in cases um, like that. So I think I'm just gonna um, either wait to list it for a little while and see if I end up using it once, you know, things have settled down, or I might list it, but list it for like a high price just to kind of get it up there and get the pictures out and stuff while I have some time um, and not really kind of seriously like price it or anything like that to sell. So uh, that's kind of my summary of what I'm thinking about in terms of selling or not selling this Michael Kors Vivian bag. I, like I said, I do think it's really beautiful. And every time actually I pull it out to, to film it, um, it just looks so pretty in the, um, like on my phone, in, in the you know camera. Uh, so I do think 
that I would hesitate to sell it. But yeah, thanks guys for watching. Let me know in the comments below what you think, if you have uh, thoughts on this bag or whether you would sell it, and I will see you next time. Bye.